welcome back, connoisseurs, to Cognac Corner, recording historic St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> Go follow Always Forward Media, Cognac Corner, on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where on Cognac Corner we have extraordinary conversations with ordinary people about love, sex, and relationships, all fueled by the Cognac. <laughs> I am. Come on. It's the podcast, Daddy. I heard you win. Podcast, Daddy, come back. Come back, podcast, Daddy. And so I have returned because I am. All right, podcast, Daddy. <laughs> Mr. Doing Too Much, Miss Talk To Me Nice, podcast prophet, podcast visionary. Welcome to the mob. I am Marcus Onesimus Boston. Oh, Long live the queen of Cognac Corner. Her soul defines her as she's so pretty. The lovely queenie is here. <laughs> now, I know we got mic stands now. Make sure you, make sure you adjust your mic a little bit. Make sure I, I, we I was going to ask, like, is it too high? Yeah, no, like you can see. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right in. <laughs> we good. Oh. I got it. We want to thank the chef of Cognac Corner, uh, Chef Rose in the house. <laughs> also, Cognac Corner. Uh, um, nope, that's another show. All right. Hey, hey, Queenie, how's it going? <laughs> I, the script I had for the other show where I shoot gunshots is not on this show because this show is about love. <laughs> this show is about getting to. I wouldn't have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through I'm a trying. time of <laughs> swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you. I mean, that's. <laughs> <laughs> that was way too soon. I was good. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been, I've been all right. I'm, I'm straight. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get through this together. So, how do you like to upgrade equipment? Not having to hold your, hold your microphone. It's you different. Just... You know, my hands are free. Yeah, so if you know, if you want to light some, some do what you do to make yourself feel better, now your hands are free, and you can just, you know, do more. I'm trying to make this this, this environment, I'm trying to increase the amenities mm -hmm. in this place. You know, I'm trying to be brave it's good. and, you got and it. do you more got that it. makes These, Do they get happy. taller? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you got yeah, a yeah. mic stand. Yeah, they get, they get stretched and they got four of them. You got four of these? Four of them. Four, not four. You got four of them. Four, okay. So I want to know that going forward, I'm always forward media and coming out corner. And so we're gonna be standing, moving forward. No, nah, okay. but wherever we go, we're gonna be comfortable. So when we record here, mm. you know, we're comfortable, and everybody can, you know, everybody, you know, they can do and be themselves. Come on, everybody, uh, never stop dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Stay positive. <laughs> do big and make sure you do what you love. <laughs> that's what it's about. Hey, Amen. <laughs> anything, less is, anything less is unsatisfactory. <laughs> All right, Queenie. So you know our usual. This is the week that was. Mm -hmm. And uh, give us the good and positive for you this week. If you, if you, have, no, if you have no negative, that's good, too. But if you have, you know, just let us uh, know what's going on for you. This week was pretty rough, but I, like, Damn. fought through it. You feel me? You know? You ever had a week where you just actually, like, fought through it instead of letting it fight you or, you know, fight it back? You fought that shit back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's, it, I overcame it regardless. It was a good week. But other than that, you know, work as usual. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm off now, so I got all the time I can do what I want to do. So, Yeah. Getting better. I'm happy you're here, Queenie. I'm you happy know, to um, be here. <laughs> we're in February. It's Black History Month. Amen. Um, so the thing for February is going to be I'm going to have some, uh, some black couples on to yeah. explain to me how y'all got together. 
Okay. And some of them I want to see them tell the truth or not. <laughs> what you mean tell the truth? Because the story you tell is the story that really how shit really happened. Everybody don't play for it. Like the man got the different story from Or him. somebody wasn't available, but they was outside like they was. There's a lot of different things that, <laughs> you know, you might tell your origin story. It might be different than how it really happened. Mine was completely different. How'd you get with, you with your boo? Huh? How'd you get with your boo? I was... <clears throat> Cause I you was like you a, like celibate like five times in like six months. I was like, how many times you gonna be celibate? But then come back with somebody hey, she talked to. I was celibate for eight months. That's not long. Uh, I was like celibate like two years. Yeah, it's not long, but I, I for the first time it was pretty good. Um, I was just minding my business for real. To be honest, everybody be trying to look in like like where can they find that? Where if a man where mind his business, he gonna die alone. I was <laughs> a woman can mind her business and somebody gonna shoot eventually if she yeah. worth being shot at. <laughs> no, now, for if real. nobody shooting at you, you <laughs> might make yourself shootable. Now, I'm not saying be sexy, red, uh, sukiana, nah, nah, but we ain't doing all that extra shit now. You gotta make yourself a target. No, nah, N- show me a little titty and, and some oh, some pretty feet. I might just throw a grenade and see what, what happens. What they don't realize is that when you looking for attention, you don't get it. But when you're not looking for attention, you get all the attention. <laughs> why is that's, it work? That's how why? it happens. Why? That's why is it? Why is it? Because you just mind your like business. That? I'm over here in my corner just reading my book. You in know your what I'm corner, saying? Man, hey, what business. book you reading? What's your book about? You know. What's your book? Girl, can you read out loud? Ladies, so that is the on. secret. When you're trying to find a good man, just mind your business. Mind the business that pays you. Yep. That's uh, the secret. Oh, Lord. That's the secret, if you ask me. So, yeah, yeah. so what y'all doing for Valentine's Day? You gotta get him something? It's almost that time I of year. I asked him what he wanted. He said, that's a girl's day. I said, all right. Ooh, well, I don't have oh. a boo to say, but I tell you, <laughs> I want something for Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay. But his birthday like a month later, so I, I save all the fun stuff for them. So he's an Aries? No, he's a Pisces. Yeah. He's a Pisces? Because we have Aquarius. Pay your Pisces? He's an Aries. Oh, so he's, he's in April? Well, late Well, May. mid, or oh, what? Late March. late March. I don't know much about Aries, so I can't say I don't anything. like him. Oh, wow. Huh? I never did. Yeah, but uh, here we are. <laughs> here... <laughs> Here we are. Never liked them, but yeah. What a statement. Here we are. <laughs> Guess where we are. I think right the men here. are different, though. I think the men are definitely different from the women. It's the females I don't fuck with now. Fucking bitches. <laughs> wow. I feel like you you need the sound the sound for that. Sorry. Hold on. I got. Sorry. If I was if I was better prepared, if you had a producer, you you'd, you'd have you right ready for that. Uh, for what you said about some areas, I I had um. There we go. There it goes, guys. Um, I dated an Aries. She her birthday was April, March, April, April thirty first. Is that no, no? So her it was it was early April. So somewhere in like April, somewhere in the first number of days in April. And she, I don't know. I don't even know what. I don't know. She wasn't an Aries that she, you had to worry about. At least when it came to me. I can, I can say they all different individuals. Right. But the one that I came across. Yeah. Or the ones that I came across. Multiple? How many? <laughs> one, two, three, I ain't really five. came across that many, but the ones I have come across, uh-uh. Nah. Can't sit next to me. Wow, well, can't sit next to me like Quavo and uh, Chris Breezy. Can't sit next to me. All right, uh, so your good and bad was that was it. So um, the, the good was you made it through the week, and the bad was the week happened. Yeah, but uh, I just man. I mean, I guess it, I, I don't want to get personal, but like yeah, that, we, we we only get yeah. personal for for pay service. It was just, it was just that time of the month, you know. That's it. That's all. But I pushed through. I went to the gym. Yeah, you know, I kept. I got my ass up, got up, and went to. Are the you gym. going with Bay? Are you going by yourself? Uh, it fluctuates. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, like uh, uh, everyone, like a balance of. I'm gonna go by myself and go with somebody. It's good, like because yeah. I've never been able because I live a very non-traditional lifestyle, and no one's available when I'm available. So like I, mm-hmm. I just be like I probably should have took a better. Drive. I just be like sometimes I just you need that home. little extra push. Yeah, like he, you he know, is so, that, he is that extra push because when I go in there, I, tr- I think I'm doing a lot, but I don't be doing shit till I go to the gym. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You ain't doing shit. 
<laughs> no, for real. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I ain't been with a partner in a long time, in, in a lot of parts of my life, but um, neither here nor there. How was your week that was, Marcus? Ooh, man, just, you know, I'm doing more of what makes me happy, mm-hmm. you know, and. Uh, Amen. Amen. You, when you do what you love, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you love what you do. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I just I just feel a lot more like, you know, there were times where I didn't feel as hopeful as I wanted to be. But, you know, um, I, I do feel to see the light in the tunnel where I can just comfortably live the life I want to live and let certain things Mm-hmm. You know, you know, know I'm looking mean. forward to my, la- my, you know, my last year in my thirties, and you know, Ooh. damn, how, how long, niggas? How long, I'm sorry, not like that, but like, how long? No, 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 you don't Kevin Hart me like yo, I, damn, goddamn, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, Quinny, because <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, next year, well, mm, I turned 29 this year, uh-huh. so this, you know, next year will be my last year. I just want to know how I feel because that's the point you're supposed to get old. Older. Yes. Yeah. yeah, the goal is to get old, absolutely. Um, like 40 the thing is, like, I lived my 20s very differently. I lived my 30s. So, like, not much of the things I did in my 20s translated to the, my 30s because I chose a very different cultural path. Okay. So, the experience <laughs> I gathered. <laughs> Say <laughs> less. I like a Bartha Walter special. Say so uh <laughs> less. Say less, Marcus. I no, know. no, I mean look look where I am. Like where, where I started is not where I ended in this dime I did in my thirties, you know. I made it out with no children. That's so, a good thing. That's at the end of the year. Your birthday all the way at the end. Um Yeah, finish line. Got goals for forty? Goals for forty. Are we, to, are we having a, a, a Marcus Jr.? Ooh, boy. <sighs> You know, I it's told myself MTK. at 40, I was going to get a vasectomy at 40 and have a birthday present to myself. Huh? You was going to do what? <laughs> I was going to get a vasectomy at 40, my birthday, mm-hmm. and have a birthday present to myself. But a then vasectomy? I was like, huh? A vasectomy. A vasectomy? I was going to cut this shit off, shut it down, make sure I can't make no. Regardless if you had kids or not? Yeah, that was over. If I ain't got it by now, if I ain't found a. Uh, hey, m- hey, men be having kids at 70. I hear you, but I don't want to play around. <laughs> I like my ways. I ain't got rich yet. So, like, no. <laughs> kids, you got to do that shit before you get some money. You talked about that. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I you ain't going to fool me. I, my, all my friends got kids. That's, they be having some rough time. I was like, ooh, mm-hmm. that shit sounds exhausting. You can get no sleep? I like, love me some sleep. I sleep like, you know how I sleep? Man. <laughs> I'm ass, p- get pillows on pillows. I'm cool with my nieces and nephews, I swear. Hey, I see my nieces and nephews on birthday parties. Hey, y'all. Uh, why, why somebody bring a gun to the school? In right. my niece and nephew, my school that I went to, but they go there now. Who was the bishop from Juice? Huh? Who? How old was the kid? The bishop from Juice. <laughs> <laughs> my age showed a little bit right there. <laughs> Who? Huh? What? You said what? <laughs> no, they they didn't shoot it up though. Thank God. But this should get out of the hand, bro. Yeah. I don't know. Just kids have kids when motherfuckers shooting up the school. I can't Guns even go there. to school. Hey man. They can't even go to school. Jeez. I can't imagine having that kind of stress. I had to text my sister, is my niece and nephew okay? Because I don't play about them. Do I need to show? If I, I, will, if I, I come up come there, up and shoot that I'm not up. coming to talk. <laughs> it's all. If I show up, if I have to get out of my comfort zone in my life and show up to somewhere professional and make a statement, I'm not coming hey, to talk. Hey, you see, it will be shut the fuck down. Show Point you me in the right direction because I don't want to talk no more. At all. Uh-uh, I don't like being disturbed because I didn't fuck for this. Like, I, this, is, this is the thing. Like, I didn't, I didn't do the work to earn these fucking kids. So, like, my my give a damn is reasonable because, like, at least you got to fuck to get them. I'm just here helping some kids I didn't fuck for. <sighs> you asking a lot of me. <laughs> you want me to have the consequences, but none of the fun. Yeah, because I guess it's it's different for you, ain't it? Man. I don't know what that means. I don't like how it sounds. But. I, I I rarely know any women forty without no kids. I no, I don't know. I am the only forty with no kids. I don't know any women. Oh yeah, nah, nah, nah. So you gonna have to play stepdaddy. 
Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. But like, I'm because if, if it don't work out, I'm gonna let him know that it's your mother' fault <laughs> that I'm <laughs> oh leaving my God. now. Like I did. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 he meant it too. <laughs> he meant that shit. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't wake out because of your mother. It's not me. Could've I did. A, you could have had a fault. <laughs> I loved, I love mentoring you and guiding you in the right direction. But you your mama baby. got me fucked up. Does <laughs> <laughs> oh, she think I'm a game? Eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, blame me, ma. <laughs> so I was hey. She did. Either she did it or she didn't do it. One of the two is the reason I'm leaving. <laughs> I can see you grabbing him by the shoulders. <laughs> hey man, if you, if, you, if you ever want to talk and shit, like I'm not gonna cut you off. We cool. No, like I, I fuck with you. Fuck that. But fuck the kids. Now, <laughs> if I'm busy, I'm busy. But if I got some time, I'll make it for you, dog. No, but no, I'm not you know, doing that. if we're done, we're until done. it's over. Like yeah, eventually. But you know, I'm gonna leave this nigga alone because you know, hey, oh, you don't please. understand, but. Yeah, yeah, like, hey, I'll be a great stepfather. I understand my role. Like, I'm going to be as great as your mother allowed me to be. Well, if your mama ain't let me, like, hey, like, what you're not going to do is respect me. I fight you and your mama and go home. So, yeah, stepdad, <laughs> first to first, first and foremost. Stepdaddies be cool. I ain't fuck with mine. My, my stepdad, time. great. I ain't fuck with mine for a minute, but then I, all right, he cool. Yeah, all right. He spoiled me. Yeah, my stepdad cool, you know. Hey. Yeah, all right. Ain't going to whoop me, but. He really ain't. <laughs> I remember the last one, whoop, last one my mama, mama gave me. That shit was good, funny. I said, "You gonna ma? This whooping shit over, player." Might as well <laughs> let that shit go, dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hit them pockets. I was like, "All right, I got it." I give me a job because you playing around with them for the pocket. Okay. Um, week that was, I got these microphone stands. Amen. I got these positive words on my wall <laughs> that feels like a warm blanket. Oh, okay. Of uh, okay positivity. Just, just love. Yeah, man. I, you know, I, I, I've had, you know, like, it's, it's like, it's almost like my vision board on my walls. In your, but, in your house. Yeah, my vision board is not appropriate for my walls. It's on my computer. It's not, yeah, it's a little more. Yeah, we, we the same. We all the well, same. Yeah. Yeah, we all the same. No, no need to even, no need to even explain, sir. See, you gotta teach me how to work that MacBook. I, I got a MacBook. I don't know oh yeah, MacBook. yeah, yeah. I can work. I mean, I, I it's, it, I'm definitely gonna new one this year, but you know, I'm gonna keep this as long as it. Yeah. I think we got the same one. Yeah, I can show you what you need. To, I can show you as much as I know about it. I've never used it to its maximum, but I've used it enough to get get us this far. All right, okay. Okay. So <laughs> okay, I think my good and bad of the week was I got these stands. That we will get that now. I have uh, I've had criticism from friends that make fun of us having to you know, hold on our microphones. Now we can, uh, you know, <laughs> be how we are with these microphone stands. Chef Rose, I'm talking about you. Okay, um, never mind. Uh, <laughs> Assorted conversations with ordinary people about love, sex, relationships. Uh, go follow Kanye Corn on. on uh, YouTube and Facebook, please, if you haven't already. So these are some questions and answers. Well, they have questions from connoisseurs that I've received from text messages from friends I've asked about things to talk about, and also Instagram DM. So you can find us on Cognac underscore corner and AFM underscore three one four. What's yours? So what's yours? How's your podcast going? It's good. What was the last episode about? The last episode was a 2024 episode. What we doing differently in uh, how to be audacious. Remember I told you that? Audacity. Audacity. The audacity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's mine? What you mean, what's mine? The, the podcast? Yeah, yeah. What's, what's your podcast and where can they find it? Uh. You can find my podcast uh, on Spotify and Apple. It's called So Pretty the Podcast. And So Pretty is S O U L P R E T T Y. All together. <laughs> Ooh wee. Okay. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> 
Now, we're going to get into connoisseur questions I've received. I'm afraid. On multiple places of internet mm. and social media questions. So, first question. I'm afraid. Do body counts matter? You want to answer first, or you want me? Go to ahead. Me? Wait, you, you, I would like to, you go first, ladies first. I don't, I don't first. care about that. I, I, that. That shit don't matter, bro. Just be clean. <laughs> Y'all worried about the wrong thing. At this point, I, I mean, I agree. Like this point, like who asks? Who still asks that question? It's a lot of things. I asked it's it a lot before, though. You, no lie, I asked it before. Well, it was back in your early twenties. You've grown mid, but he told me he had a hundred, a hundred bodies. Hundred what? That's why. You, I mean, like, yeah. I, I mean. With nobody with nobody when he started, somebody. I have he said mm, started at fourteen. Okay, and how old is he when he said he had a hundred? I don't even remember. That that was a while ago. But it, it's 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 not something to brag about. Let's say that because some people just walk around and saying I got fifty bodies and I got thirty bodies. And it's like calm down. That's not something you brag about. You feel me? Is if it's something like. I don't think it matters, but don't brag about that shit. Like, who the fuck? Like, who? Just How do you say that, honey? Like, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I had a hundred. Like, I got a hundred. Nah, he ain't say it like that. I ain't like I got uh, more than ninety nine. Yeah. I got, I got a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it really. I mean, I've had seasons where I had about six in the six, and the, the highest volume I ever had in a year mm-hmm. from January to December was probably like. Seven, like seven new ones. New bodies. And yeah, that was that was that was like two thousand twelve. But like thirteen I, or thirteen. So do you, 12, do you think it matters? No, no, like it just, but that shit, shit even out. Like it's that shit even out. I'm over, wrong, but, bro. Like what the fuck are you? Talking yeah, about? like it's the it, like why we having this? Why, why does it matter? Like what do you want to know? Like it don't matter. Are you gonna go back and talk to them? We ask, old at like, this point. Like. So you want to be at it or not? Like, what, do, what are you trying to do? I don't understand. But, like, I don't know. I don't think it really matters. I don't. I, to answer the question, no, I don't think it matters. Next question. Okay. Why do women date broke du- broke dudes with good PP versus men with re- a career with regular PP? She didn't write PP, but mm-hmm. I just don't want to say the I word she you. wrote. You gonna answer that first? Well, I, I, as you see where we at right now, uh-huh. you can pretty much pick which side of that I'm on. So I, should, I gotta, I gotta speak for the women. <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I gotta speak. <laughs> That's this is a you question. I, I, Ask that one more time. <sighs> Why do women date broke dudes with good dick versus a man with? A career in mediocre PP. Okay. So you want the answer or you want the truth? <sighs> truth, please. The truth is you don't love yourself enough to believe that you deserve somebody with that much uh, cap, uh, like, <laughs> like on that type of level. And you're not working hard enough on yourself to even get yourself in them doors with them same people. It's not the men that you're attracting. It's what you're choosing to sell. Amen to that for. shit. Uh, like I said before in, the, in earlier, just mind your business, and the right one gonna come to you. Like that's simple. It's, it's so simple, but everybody like to complicate shit, you know. So have it your way. Have it your way. Now, if you want the answer, all right. So that's the, the truth. What was the other answer? What's the other, what can the other answer be? Go ahead. The, I do want to because they like because they like it. Yeah, I've had a guest that said <laughs> something about um, was it basement? Basement. How old was this guest in basement? Oh, she just turned thirty. She just turned thirty-one. She's still early, huh? She's still in basement. No, she was saying she. <laughs> I was. She was very against me putting these words on my wall. She was threatening. Oh, she was like, really? "See." That's why they go to sleep at your house. Look at your house. It's full of amenities. At my house, they know what's coming on over here. <laughs> she treat niggas like dudes, which is baffling for me. 30 years old. Okay. Yeah, but she hey, she doing a, she doing a great job. That's my friend. I love her to death. Okay. Um, I don't have an answer for that because 
<laughs> Can't speak for broke niggas. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> why is it so easy for women to disrespect men nowadays? That's a good one. Why is it easy for women to disrespect men nowadays? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Oh my god! Yeah, I go. Yeah, yeah. You want the truth or you want the answer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only 28 and I'm spending these. Facts oh, man, I came here to preach. Uh, Queenie, preach to him, please. Amen to that why, shit. <laughs> why is it easy? Why is it easy? Why is it easy for women to disrespect men nowadays? I think it started with the childhood. Ooh. Uh, why am I fucking with that? Um, <clears throat> I hate that it's a culture thing, but a lot of single mothers, you know what I'm saying? They just let their sons get away with shit and had a back, so they think that they could just... Oh, shit, that, I answered that wrong. But anyway, um, I don't think women can disrespect men easily. Um... Hold on, hold on. Women disrespecting men? Yeah. Like in what sense? Cuz I don't I don't think I think it's the opposite, but uh Hey, I didn't write the question, Queen. I just I'm just living. I don't I don't I mean, I see it in social media where like I've seen women talk to certain men in a way like example. No, that's not a good one. I was, was going to bring up that that cheesecake moment but that's not very disrespectful but that was that was weird like uh the the lady yeah well, but it's well, not that okay, disrespectful okay, okay. but like if you want to okay i got you okay oh what was the one where like i got one sent to my friend where they expected the birthday girl's husband to, to pay, pay for everybody yeah nah, he was wait, like that's not disrespectful nah. <laughs> that's that's just your integrity like and you can't you can't be mad for somebody sticking up for their integrity if you don't like it then you ain't gotta fuck with me wait which side you defending I'm defending the dude side. Oh, okay. I'm not going to pay for everybody. That's like, that's like, uh, that's like cooking dinner and your man come home with his friends and everybody eat off your food and you got kids to feed instead. Oh yeah. You can't even read. Who this. side are you going to be? You know what I'm saying? Like who, who, who you going to feed first? Your kids or your friend, your, your man's friends. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. That, you it, can't. <laughs> You supposed to say, "Hey, who food? Who food is this?" But regardless, like, it's the time of days we in for real. For real, social media is is like making everybody believe that everybody is supposed to just all, have it all. Like, ain't nobody like like. Oh my goodness, I don't even know. I, I'm trying to explain it, but I <laughs> I can't get it out. Yeah, you, know you really I mean? got to know how. The person you're talking to interprets the real world yeah. and the fake world. Exactly. If, if and the everybody, person you're talking to overvalues like shit that has an off and on button, mm-hmm. there might not be grounded in the world that you need them to be grounded for you. I'm gonna say to I'm gonna say what every man is active. thinking. Oh, Women think that they are entitled to things and they're not. <sighs> <laughs> they're not. That's why they feel like that shit. quote unquote disrespecting a man. You just think that you're entitled to something that you're not. Yeah, that, that yeah, like that. And that says like so. Like all of, if I had a if I met a woman, we we vibe and was moving towards a direction. And I met her friends that were like the women that have a lot of like their any interaction with them is a, is a dollar amount. I'm like, so these are your friends, like to what degree? <laughs> Because I can't, like, at some point, I'm afraid they're going to influence you to come, go against me when I'm playing by, I'm playing fair. I'm not playing by Quality some rules. Quantity, uh, baby. Yeah, so, like, they're just my friends, but that says something about you. Because mm-hmm. I'm coming from a position where I've gained and lost friends that I no longer, that no longer serve me or we don't serve each other, so we got to grow each other. But you, if you not like them, but why would you hang with them if you not like them? So I know there's people that believe in what you believe in now, but they, we're in a sorority together. But I understand that. But like, they're not <laughs> morally history, in character bro. where you are. Exactly, history is history. Y'all gotta let some of that shit go. God damn it! I didn't fuck up church's money. Never mm. stop dreaming, Marcus. 
<laughs> Too soon. <laughs> you weren't ready. I'm gonna spit all this shit out. <laughs> and if I if I wasn't the person in charge of cleaning it up, I would have. But that's my answer. I think women they just think that they're entitled. It's not disrespectful. <laughs> y'all just need to relax and calm the fuck down, especially since y'all want a man to cover everything. But how y'all expect for that to happen if y'all not letting him just fucking be what the fuck he's supposed to be? Bad bitch. Hmm? Okay. I don't know why this one's feeling. Breast section in the middle. Why was you late? I ain't got about 40. I guess they gonna get it. (sighs) (laughs) This dude. Next question. (laughs) Communication about the uncomfortable things that used to be easy. Why is it so hard now? I don't think uncomfortable things were ever easy. You just, you didn't have, you you, you couldn't. Oh, look at me brushing this. That shit didn't move. (laughs) Nothing happened. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I ain't going to the barbershop for no reason. Um, I don't think the uncomfortable conversation was ever easy, but now we have opportunity to, to not have it. I'd be so weird when like, people can fuck somebody, but not ask them like questions that are important, like your last name. Like, <laughs> intimacy. Do you think that it's been, it was, it's like, I don't even know how to say it, but like, you think it's been like more, uh, what are they, uh, Gen Z? You talking about the people after, it's more like in the 90s? Like after 95. You think it's more than, than it is the actual like, never mind, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> because they got this world fucked up. Everybody thinking like them. Mm, okay, that's what it is. Guess we're gonna get you a microphone to stand. <laughs> you, you won't be seen, but I forgot. I forgot we stopped talking so we can listen to her. Then there's nothing to say anything. <laughs> I forgot actually, what the question was. <laughs> um, <laughs> communication about uncomfortable things used to be easy, but why is this so hard now? Because everybody's so fucking sensitive. And, and like, yeah, like. Calm down. Uh, too much is tolerated, but the wrong shit is appreciated. Pr- boy. That's a boy. Hi, Kaz Eddie. Come oh, on. wrong one. Come on. It's the Wait, that's wrong. All right, podcast. There it is. <laughs> that was a boy right there. Way too much talk. Way too much is being praised, bro. For like, ugh. All the wrong shit. All and that's the thing, like, you can get, you can easily get convinced that the world is one way, but, like, because the people that are actually happy, doing great, Ain't worrying about the shit on the internet. That's the thing. Like, we hear about the bad shit. And we think the bad shit is the only shit. But motherfuckers, they're happy and doing nasty shit with they, with that other nasty person. And they living their best life. They had peace. Ain't worried about like a motherfucker. the bullshit. That's I the problem. Like, y'all be too focused on the bullshit. Yeah. And, that, and, that's, and that's why I want to amplify the couples that are having, you know, what they're looking for in the best way. Because... They not worry about the shit. Blue, she ain't worry about a blue face because you know why she getting skeeted in the face blue, happily. A blue check. That part. <laughs> <laughs> they want a blue check. They want to give me a blue check. And they're living their best life. Everybody that I see, the the few people that I know that I see <laughs> <laughs> doing well are people that are being true to themselves. Because mm-hmm. I'm always do that. They not worry about what someone else said they should be with. I, nah, this person works for me, and we work for each other with your lonely ass. Only motherfucker taking <laughs> what you got, <laughs> motherfuckers with nothing. Be, <laughs> hey, they be talking the most shit. You, you ain't even got nobody. The motherfucker that ain't got nothing <laughs> is the motherfucker talking the most. Mm. But it's a way around it, you guys. Just find yourselves. <laughs> Never Ooh, stop dreaming. I don't stop dreaming. Be you, okay? <laughs> Be nobody but you. <laughs> Be you. That's when it came. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Okay. When a man says they want to see you, what does that mean? Marcus, what that mean? 
I hope you even asked me. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, mean. I have not. I have not used the the uh, let see me. I want to see you, but like, <sighs> mm, I have so much to say. Go ahead, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> you were so dumb. <laughs> um, what do you mean, Marcus? <laughs> <laughs> when a man says he want to see you, it's like I want to <laughs> be amazing. I want to. <laughs> 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 She found some tissues too. I can see she did. <laughs> Brought to you by Felicia. <laughs> I'm actually crying real tears. Right? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Ask your question. Uh, when a man says he want to see you, it's like wanting to make you feel like you're valuable to to him, but not like in the sense where. He has to actually put you in pen and say, we're going on a date, 7 o'clock at Ruth Chris or whatever the fuck you want to eat at. So before we Saying go on a date, I want to see like, I want to see you, but like, I really probably say that after about after 9. Nah, you ain't nobody finna see me after yeah, 9. Yeah, it, it don't come in at noon. Because at noon, I got to make a plan for you to see you at 8. So it depends on the time of the day? <laughs> yeah, because really, I want to see you some shit you say after some other shit fell through. That makes sense. Yeah, because if you really want to see her, you'd have made a plan and made a date. It's it's a great area that if she falls for it, you're going to let it go. If she don't, you're going to If she right, falls for it, then she's going to keep falling for it. Yeah, she's not, she not going to get an actual plan Y'all date because she feels for that. I want to see you. Read between the lines. Yeah. Almost, almost I will see you when I want to bring over some food to your house. I don't want to take you out to go get nothing to eat. Man, you better put me. Man, we're going on a picnic. Cause you fuck with you, she gonna, if you fuck with her for you, you gonna take her out. Even even if it ain't like it ain't got me nothing crazy, but like let's take her out somewhere. I've I've been out with some friends, seen some outs. So like oh yeah, she just yeah she's wanting to be taken out. Cause I think men just like the easy way out, and they gonna try to get it anyway. Oh yeah, possible. if you don't if you don't if you don't make him be great, he won't be. What's what let's all say? That's that's them that's them that's them uh, little niggas though. Like, some little niggas just turn to turn. Some little niggas turn to old niggas. They just still be little niggas though. It's old niggas. But uh. A real nigga, he, he ain't finna even, like, try to take the easy... Like, first off, as a man, y'all like to work hard. So if any man doing anything easy with you... I like to work smart. You, well, that, that too, logical, all that shit. But if you working easy, like anything that you ain't even got to move a muscle for, you feel me? That's a trap. Say the last word again. Anything that a man is throwing at you that he don't have to work hard for and it's yeah. easy is a trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And work hard don't have to be like, don't be too, now don't be too unreasonable now. Like, mm-hmm. be, be understand the world Realistic. we live in and yeah. the yeah. amenities being off. Right. Like, don't, don't get entitled. Now. Right. Don't overvalue, don't over market value yourself because right. 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 you do got a couple of them. Right. Now, know, you know your hey, worth, but hey. calm, calm the fuck down. I, I saw the kind of books you like, and they, they it, it wasn't nothing I've seen before. It looked like a lot of a lot of pictures in there. Relax now. Sorry. Okay. Um. Oh, what, so what was you gonna say about uh what that mean? Uh, what did you say? It? I am not doing a good job of getting this show. Why do I keep forgetting the question? What was the question again, Marcus? Um, what does the man? What does it mean when a man said they want to see you? What does that mean? Well, I'm I'm gonna stick to what you said. I agree with what you said, but um, I'm gonna just say that it depends on the time of the day when he's trying to see you and how much effort he is putting in and trying to see you. If he's trying to actually see you and do something, then okay, I'll be like, okay, well, I I you know go for it. But if he's just trying to just see you on some like kicky shit. I can kick it at home. I don't need all that. Like, um, do I want company? You mean? I don't. I, mean, I don't. No. 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 I agree with Marcus. That's my answer. <laughs> but it depends on the time of the day. Don't fall for it. <laughs> 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 
Why are men so sassy nowadays? I don't know, man. I wish y'all could tell me why. I ain't got the answer to that. I listen to a few, like, music-related or music-attached podcasts, and we really don't we take for granted the process and the sacrifice that goes into creating music that we make that has been back then even now has been just turned into so disposable because we've taken we've put too much business into the music when it used to be the music business now it's just like it's a business that happens to be make the hap it's like a business that makes music not you think the they're like business. you trying to say they they the influencers I'm just saying the quality, the quality of music and the time and the yeah. art has been taken out of the music. It's the more art. like it's more like a bop, 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 bop. Yeah, because we bop, have people in charge bop, bop, of the process. Bop, bop. The art. Yeah. It's like if, if I'm an artist and I run a business, I'm gonna run my business with an artist focused priority. If I'm just a business person, I don't care about bottom lines and making profit and all that. I don't give a fuck about the process of the art. I need this art to make money, so you get a different product. Because you understand if you're an artist, you know, artist takes time and it takes, you know, nourishing, 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 that's nourishing. I said, what's it, nourishing? <laughs> and all that, if you're a uh, business first and bottom lines, you're not going to give a fuck about that process. Now you're getting, you're getting, Anything. You're getting more, but it's less quality because the per- people in charge don't give a fuck about. So the process mean, and the so best things come that from the, the process. The rap or the music is the influence. By the wrong people, the wrong people are in charge. But it, but it's, it's capitalism. I'm, but I'm very woke, and I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid to say what the fuck I want to say. <laughs> Cause this shit happened. Like if you really paid attention, this. Shit. Oh my god! You good, big brother? Rumble mints never gets better. Did you just mix your drink? The, I, it's just the rumble mints never gets better. You just like, mixed your drink. I had to wash it down with the cognac. No, the rumble mints is fine as a shot. It's just a little shot. Poop, poop. We got to wash that shit down because that shit is on fire. So I continue. <laughs> he said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave me a microphone stand? Yeah, it like me all these free hands and shit. Look at he like it. Look at shit. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I love it here. I, I was just gonna say, I think I think Konya Corner OnlyFans coming soon. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not. In, I'm, I'm, I'm not included. I wanted to do a Konya Corner uh, calendar and like have all the women over the years be in the calendar. They never panned out. Uh-huh. I'm not saying it's too late, but no. some <laughs> some of my spirit. Maybe I do it in my forties. I got a camera. I got a couple cameras too. Oh, let's get it. We can get it. We gonna do it. Let's see. Look at it. Do what makes you happy. Never, never <laughs> stop dreaming now. Do your best. <laughs> guess, what we, guess what we're doing? Being creative. <laughs> ah. Oh, shit. I'm trying to look around and see if I can find something. <laughs> guess what we're going to do? Make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Make it happen. Um, what I was saying is... Uh, we're going to be amazing. I agree, I agree with what you're saying. At a certain, uh, like, I saw this shit happening. No, I, I didn't see it, but like, if you look at it, you saw this shit happen a long time ago, and it's all just like, just happening, like right in front of our eyes, and nobody can really see it. But that's exactly what the plan is. Exactly what you said, just to like get men to be more, what they sassy. <laughs> Why are men so sassy? They it, men are sassy these days because now we live in the consequences of the nineties and two thousand. Where the same they, way why women are independent. I mean, <laughs> technically, there's a reason it takes a man and a woman to have a child because there's certain things a woman can't teach a man to do or how to. It's just like shit. I'm learning now through just actively wanting to learn that. Oh, I wish a, some man would have told me that. Sometimes you gotta. Yada yada yada. Oh, really? I thought you were supposed, but I don't. If no one teaches you, like we're human beings, we learn through seeing another human being do it, explain what's going on. We to don't. Be honest, as long as you, there's value to having uncles and cousins and that shit because like they can 
step in and teach you things that your mama and dad can't teach you because they're your mom and dad. Like it's a reason the family structure works well for him and Ben's because you will learn things that your certain people can't teach you. Yeah. I you agree. know, so when you take and, certain and, things and like out said, of like the machine, said, the, the machine black family was fucking demolished years ago. Oh yeah. So long ago. And it's like, like this is what the fuck they was planning to do to make men more, I, I guess, I, quote unquote, sassy I really or whatever thought the, the purse thing was not going to work. I really was like, Hey, I thought, the okay, purse? it's not a purse. It's a satchel. Man, yeah. I did not believe that was going to make it. I said, okay, I, I oh, saw it. it. Okay, we, we doing the fanny packs. Then I was like, cool, we not, the, I do the OGs, not going to let this mm. continue. They was wearing fucking they bell bottoms fell. and fucking, I know, but, but I they just, were tube tops. They was wearing all that shit back then. I know Earth when the Fire was getting. It giving, don't get no sassier than that if you ask me. Shit, they, they perfectly fine these days. Shit. Shit, I like the look. I don't think I I I mm, I don't want to say I have a problem with it. There's nothing wrong with a man tapping into his feminine side because it's all about the balance at the end of the day, bro. It's not. Hey, I'm if brave. you lean it too much, then that's an issue to me. But if it's a balance, then okay, let that nigga just embrace his feminine side. Y'all asking for a soft <laughs> nigga, y'all getting one. The fuck. Sorry, <laughs> Queenie. What, what was Queenie? What happened? <laughs> what did I say? I don't know. I went in. What, so what? So what do we want? We want to make it happen? I'm gonna I do said, bigger. Let a man embrace his femininity side. Y'all may call it sassy and whatever, and all that other stuff, but y'all keep Sorry. asking for a fe- a man with emotions and all this shit, and y'all getting it, and y'all calling it sassy. So y'all want y'all a, a thug nigga that ain't gonna give a fuck about you. Y'all like make up your mind. What what is it that you want? I don't want a killer that's gonna love me. No, man, he's gonna be a killer that kills everybody. That's that's the part. Yes, you fine. You can't have it all. You can't. Nothing. There is nothing that has it all. It's not exactly. So you, which side? What you do want? you want more of? They call it sassy, but I see a man that's just balanced. Yeah, but let's let's <laughs> leave them let's leave them bags, them handbags in twenty twenty two. Now, that's taking it too far. I don't see all that. Like, y'all ain't got to do all the accessories and shit. Yeah. Now. Not, but your lifestyle, that's different. I had a friend ask me, like, she said, either either a friend, man, like, if I'm dating, let's, let's, let's say let's say you are a person, a woman that is horrible with getting gas. And if I'm at your house and you need gas in your car, huh? I would go run either, either, when I, either when I leave your house that night Oh, if I stay tonight in the morning, we're going to put gas in her car because I don't want no shit to happen with this gas since you a habitual line stepper and you don't yep. respect this gas gauge. That's okay with me. I won't let you be ass out because she needed gas at night. And she was like, I hate getting gas off. Well, I wouldn't not. It would be just part of me being, that wouldn't be a, your man. Like if I was your nigga and we just kicking it and you needed provider, some shit like that. A provider. Yeah, like that's. Uh, do I want to do it? Fuck no. Yes, understand. I do not want to get out of bed and clean your car off. No, but since you did give an amazing mouth hug and you know that what I like and you do feed me well, <laughs> understand. When I get back in this house, I expect to be compensated for this work. Like I said, ma'am, it's a balance, <laughs> and I'm gonna get up and put on <laughs> my winter boots. It is a balance. <laughs> That's it. Like it's I wouldn't so like I wouldn't let you nah. Certain things is like I don't want no. If you shouldn't as a woman, my woman or whatever, you should not be getting gas at night. And you Ooh, at my house. Hold on. I'm sorry. I, maybe go ahead. Go ahead. That was it. That was like I was she asked me that question. I was like, no, nah, if it was at my house, I was at your house my verse. Like I'm not waiting till it's nighttime to get gas. Though. You should, but like swimming are just bad. Like they don't respect the fucking gas tank. They just ride to that motherfucker. Say and that means you, you not prioritizing right. Hey, sometimes the best mouth huggers make bad decisions. So what? if I know the kind of woman I got, huh? That is insane. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, what? <laughs> okay. I'm oh, sorry. Lord. I'm just trying to squeeze. I'm I, just. <laughs> Okay. I'm just trying to get. I would have been <laughs> swallowed you up. Have you ever been <laughs> swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing I'm trying. where everything was overwhelming? I won't be overwhelmed. So oh, I won't be overwhelmed. You're not oh, fin- you're I can't not wait to be overwhelmed. Look, okay, look. I don't got no comment on that. But I'm sorry. I'm just saying, like, in that situation, I wouldn't think twice about not 
doing that. But some niggas be like, no, nah, she shouldn't have, like. Hey, hey, uh, my car got broken into one time and a nigga just left me out there with the police. Oh, man. Yeah. So, I get it. Yeah, some niggas just trifling. It's fuck. That's what I'm saying. Like, what? Y'all got to be aware of what the fuck y'all choosing and settling for now. What you, yeah, what you allow will continue. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yep, I'm talking about you. See. The fuck? Oh. Um. What? Okay. Maybe. Okay, maybe out of the good ones, Queen. You got anything for uh, some of these? Are really? Huh? We can't see the words on the wall on live. Okay. Good. <laughs> you seen if you get here. <laughs> that is the person that threatens. Just be kind. <laughs> <laughs> do your best. So we can't see the words on the wall. <laughs> do bigger and, and do more of what you what makes you happy. <laughs> They don't need to see the words in the wall. Positive you make mind, it to positive vibes, positive <laughs> life. All the words are out of the line of the camera. Almost, that one almost made it. Almost made it. Almost. I am sorry for that long ass laugh, but it was great. He felt that. I did. <laughs> I, was, I almost thought about stopping and said, no, nah, I laughed that shit out, big dog. You earned it. Oh, Jesus. Why is cheating? Why is hard? It's, okay, here we go. Um, why is it hard to get a relationship nowadays? You got to want to be in one, dog. <laughs> like, you, like, I know you have to want to be bro. in one. They be asking the same questions, like, all over the world. Go ahead. Because no one tells them a good answer. Like, you have to want to do the work. Like, you have to, first, like, you shouldn't see it as in work like a bad thing. Like, if you really like somebody, you gotta enjoy each other. The work to make it work. Don't feel like work is just part of cost of doing business. Think of it as a childhood like crush. Literally. See, everybody Let's don't do have it. a kind of problem. Okay. Everybody had a childhood crush. The and they fuck? were too afraid to, to admit it, but they did it and it and then like it just simply worked. Like it's not that hard. But why is it hard to have a relationship? That's the question. Why is it hard Queen, to have a relationship? I don't I disagree with what you just said. You you said uh what about the, what about middle school? <laughs> Childhood crush. You see, you make it sound so cute and pretty. <laughs> and so that pretty. shit was not like that. It's not, but like people be complicating it, and it's not really that hard. It's just like if you was remember when you was a kid, you had a crush on this girl, and you just was so nervous to approach her, and then you finally approached her, and it finally fucking worked, and she liked you. Okay, maybe not. <sighs> Those who get it, get it. Those who don't, don't. Yeah, I know what the fuck I'm saying. <sighs> <laughs> I did make it sound like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Answer the question I again. I would have been <laughs> swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Oh have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything <laughs> was overwhelming and you... <laughs> I'm trying to make it less complicated because people be at, like, Levels. I know for me, I know that I'm my biggest obstacle mm -hmm. um, due to lack of uh, proper mentorship and guidance. So I am choosing to rectify the lack thereof by putting in place things to help me get through my obstacles when it's obstacle season. Really, like, I, like <sighs> Steve Harvey. So when Steve Harvey said this, you know. Oh God! <laughs> I, I, I love Steve, man. You feel me? I feel. It's I feel the three Steve. P's: a man should be able to pro pro profess, provide. protect, and provide. So once I can afford love, I'm gonna buy me some. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Next question. Oh, um, man, I don't think I want to re-answer my question. You said mine was cute. It was. I wanted to re-answer it now. I don't want to cue it. I just gave you... Can you grab me the other rumble miss out of there and come back? The question is, why is relationships so hard? To, to, get, in, to, get, to get into nowadays. And I said, because you got to want to want to get... You got to want to be into it and do the work. It's so easy to get out of one. Like, you got to really want to be into that person. You got to like... People don't get spend time to like each other. Like... I want to yeah. spend time and like to a okay. motherfucker. I, I agree with what you're saying. I think that it's, um, 
I really want everybody to just have a mind of their own because at this point, I just think that everybody is thinking the same. So they think the that hive mind. they expecting a bum nigga to do what a rich nigga do, and they expecting a rich nigga to do to act like a bum nigga, or they 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 reacted to what the bum nigga did to the rich nigga. So just have yeah. a mind of your own. And like Marcus said, just work on yourself. Actually, do the work. Quit being afraid. Yeah, it's actually, beautiful yeah. on the side. The sun fucking shines, and the butterflies, and the trees, and the flowers bloom, and rainbows and shit on every day. Like, just work on yourself. It's beautiful. A lot more people would be a lot happier if there was if it wasn't the the price of things getting in the way. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I hate I hate when I look at women. I find phenomenally attractive. Like, damn, can I afford her? I shouldn't. I should be like, I shouldn't think about yeah, affording her. I should think like. She is amazing and a family we should build. <laughs> Money should be like the least. I mean, at the end of the day, you do want somebody that is going to be there to provide, but like that should not be the top thing. Because if this motherfucker got money and he treating you like shit, then what you going to do? Yeah. Exactly. So y'all be asking for money, 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 money. But okay, if this nigga's beating your ass, but he taking care of the bills, you mm-hmm. still going to stay? Like, what the fuck? Like, Take care of your bills and three other bitches' bills. Now we're going to do Right. What you going to do now? Look for character. I'm overflowing with character and, and uh, morals. I'm just being real. Because I never stop dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never give up. And I be kind. <laughs> God, make it happen. <laughs> Y'all gonna hear that shit all this (laughs) (laughs) We are inspired (laughs) (laughs) By Marcus Walmart (laughs) Um, Oh god Okay so what's coming up Okay we can can close this up Okay uh, Queen you have anything for Queen uh, Queen thoughts I do I do I do indeed So earlier this morning Well not this morning Earlier this Now we're having Thoughts from a queen brought to you by Queenie. So, um, earlier today, I had made a list that I was getting ready to prepare for my podcast on the 12 things that raise my vibration. And, Marcus, what you pick, number eight? Yes, number eight. Number eight was um, uh, laughing more. Laughing more and Mm -hmm. um, finding funny content to endure in instead of all that drama and gossip and actually living life for what what it is. I had talked to my grandmother earlier, and she had – I ain't never heard this quote. Apparently, it was popular. She was like, her brother died – her brother was born in 1960 – shit, 1946, and he died in 19 – shit, 2022. Get it right. (laughs) And she was like, the dash is the only thing that's – you know, the dash is what your life is supposed to be. So mm-hmm. live out your dash. And that's what I was just basically uh, inspired to speak on today. Just live your life and just laugh. It's meant to be enjoyed. So take every day for what it is and quit stressing off of stupid shit. <laughs> live the day. All right, thoughts from a queen. Laugh more. Show them teeth. <laughs> if your teeth ain't showable, work on them teeth to get showable. Laugh more. It's life's too short to be angry all the goddamn time. I'm serious. All the time. Is there anything you're watching or listening to you want to recommend to the connoisseurs? <laughs> um, I'm listening to Poor Minds. <laughs> I'm new to it. It's not true to this. Yeah, poor mind. You don't like poor minds. You might like horrible decisions too, but poor minds. Lex P and oh Andrea. My God. Yeah, they, like laugh, Amen. like funny content. That's exactly what I mean. Like just be entertained yeah. for a little bit. Just they are fucking hilarious. They and they're, being, and they're being themselves, and they're so po- they're so further polished and experienced than when they mm-hmm. when I when I fir- when I originally found them, they were still. 
sort of independent, but now they're in the 85 South production family. So, like, they good, man. I, I, I'd love to be in position to have them because they're, they, 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 they doing their they, thing. Who, I, I want to say they came to St. Louis at the Foundry or whatever that, whatever, I think the Foundry. I know what you're talking about. Um, um, um. I know. Whatever the, the it's Ikea. called, but like I see a lot of By the IKEA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see a lot of shows the come winery. here and do shows and stuff. It's and come the winery. There. The winery, yeah, the winery at the foundry. Yeah. Is uh, they were they built they was here. I was like, I wanna get a position to show up and see this to how those run. But like, you know, shout right. out to the uh shout out to poor minds. Shout it out! Shout it out! Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's all you had was poor minds. Your recommendation? Um, uh, I've been listening to like a lot of female rappers lately, and Shy from the Tray. <sighs> she been, she been, she been, she been. Look, I'm about to put it up. Cut it up. Put it up. Okay, like she just be spitting. Okay, good workout music. <laughs> Shy from the Tray. Has that's all I got. I don't really watch TV. Um. What I have for y'all is something for y'all for next week, okay? Um, <laughs> closing, cl- we're gonna close our tabs out. What you got? Closing remarks for us, Queen. Anything to close us out with? Um, Where to find you? Close it out. Land is playing. Yeah, y'all can find me at uh, L- oh Jesus, so pretty the podcast on Apple and Spotify. I am on IG at So Pretty LLC all together, and that's Twitter, TikTok. I'm not on Facebook and Snapchat. You're done. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> How long ago was that? <laughs> we want to thank Chef Rose for bringing these delicacies to my home. <laughs> She's somewhere in this house, being the best of best she can. Somewhere being amazing, <laughs> doing her best, <laughs> being brave. <laughs> never give. Let's say never stop dreaming. Never stop dreaming. <laughs> Do what you All right, love. Uh, go follow Cognac Corner on Facebook and, and uh, Instagram at Cognac Corner on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, get us to over a hundred people subscribing. I'm gonna start doing better next week. Okay, look, uh, Cognac Corner coming up. We'll have a lot of couples coming up next few weeks. A couple episodes. Got to figure out how to get together, how to stay together. <laughs> Closing my tab. Love could be the road to happiness, but most times. Happiness lead right to, right to the doorstep of love because only happy people can be in love. <laughs> Leave who you were, love what you are, look forward to who you're becoming. <laughs> Again, leave who you were, love what you are, look forward to who you're becoming. <laughs> Growth scared people that don't want to change. Love yourself, love each other, and love is all we got. Mm-hmm.